Hey everybody, Walker here. Welcome to episode number 41 of my Thawncraft Let's Play series. So a little bit of maintenance work here. I did unlock uh, all those, or uh, cleaned up all those research notes that I had made um, and unlocked a lot more of the uh, stuff. So like the uh, wand focus of nine hells along with the vampire bat upgrade. Um, I now can make my void one my, uh, void metal caps if I want to, which I will eventually, because um, I believe they give a little bit better discount than the um, uh, thom thomic capped. Um, I also unlocked the one focus primal, which I'm going to need to make so I can research it because it will unlock some of this stuff down here if I remember correctly. Uh, what else? I forgot to update. Uh, Tom and G again. Um, I'm not really that worried about it. We'll see what happens. Nothing left in um, Forbidden Magic. I will start making some of this stuff. Uh, not really sure if I need... I mean, the Ring of Nutrition would be nice. Um, but, again... I, I already have some nice rings. Oh, I could put it, a Ring of Protection... In replace of the ring of uh, ring of protection, that hunger ring there, in replace of this, and add ring sh shielding to it. So um, today, my main focus. Uh, notice how I'm starting to get a lot more. Well, you wouldn't notice because I, you weren't here with me while I was uh, getting stuff ready. My um, thanks to unlocking all of that stuff, my insanity meter. Uh, that you'll see over here when I get out of this. Uh, notice that it's even higher now. I'm nearly completely insane. Which we already knew anyway. But no, I mean like... So I'm getting warp effects every couple of minutes now. And luckily it's just kind of the annoying ones like flux phage and darkness and blurry vision. Um, the one I'm really not looking forward to is when the uh, Eldritch Guardians show up, because at this point they're going to start showing up three or four at a time, and um, it's it's going to be really annoying. So what I'm going to do is, the way to counteract some of these effects uh, is to make bath salts, okay? <clears throat> bath salts will help reduce uh, the effects of warp quite a bit. Now, bath salts require Salus Mundus as the catalyst, and uh, Salus Mundus, of course, is made with balance shards, and balance shards, of course, are made uh, via alchemy. Where is that? It's somewhere in here. Anyway, um, you know, you throw uh, one shard into your uh, alchemical construct and feed it two of each of the other primals, right? Uh, that's fine, good and fine and all, but the problem I have with that is uh, it takes a lot of time and it's a, a bit of a pain to get all five jars over there and yada yada yada. So I'm going to build a machine to do most of that for me, okay? Um, to that end, I've gotten myself an uh, alchemical furnace, alembic, I got a crucible with two constructs so I can make that. I got myself a couple of centrifuges, filtered essential tubes, a whole stack of essential tubes, directional essential tubes, and I even made restricted essential tubes, though I'm not entirely certain I'm going to need the restricted ones. Uh, it's been a while since I built this, so we're gonna try and get our way through it. Hopefully it'll only take this one episode, but maybe we'll need, you know, a little bit more time than just one episode. Anyway, I'm gonna put down that with the Alembic. Okay? That's the start of this. Alright? And what we're going to cook in here is um, crafting tables. <clears throat> because crafting tables have Fabrico. And Fabrico breaks down into Humanus and Instrumentum. Humanus breaks down into... Um, Bestia Incognito, Bestia breaks down into Modus Invicta. Yeah, it, it, uh, it is the item I found that will break down into everything eventually. Uh, you start with Fabrico, and it's cheap. It only takes um, um, 
uh, four pieces of wood planks to make a crafting table which gives you four fabrico so that's a chance of having four of any one of the primal uh, aspects uh, it's cheap I mean there are other ones that I could be using um, Arbor for example to Herba Herba to Victus and Terra Victus into air or sorry into water and Terra but then I'm missing out on you know Ordo and Perditio so we're gonna take what we can get so very first thing is from here we're gonna put a pipe um we're gonna let me see here how do i want to do this pipe pipe okay we're gonna put a centrifuge up there and we're gonna put oh i don't have any buffers shoot ah uh, buffers is four tubes and four files isn't it Oh, shoot. Well, okay, that's why I had the restricted tubes and I need some essential valves. Well, that was short-lived, wasn't it? All right, uh, I need clay and glass. It's glass. Clay. Just get all of it. Um, I also need sticks and cobble. Uh, and I have restricted too, so I'll be able to make at least 10 buffers for right now. Uh, and, um, oh, I need, uh, we'll start with seven jar labels, um, because what we're going to do is we're going to be moving stuff all over the freaking place. I have some glass files. I should be able to, uh, make at least one. Okay, how did it go? That. Restrict it. Oh no, I, I need the stupid... Uh... Yeah, okay. Well, that was dumb, wasn't it? I made a slight error. There, that's plenty. I shouldn't need any more than that. If I do, um, I'll make more, but I shouldn't need any more than that. <sighs> okay, looks like it's finally done that, so I'll go over here, and uh, we'll just reintegrate that in there. Uh, while we're waiting for that to fill, why don't we go over and check to see how our sheep's doing. Man, I was going to hope to get this done this episode. Oh well, well, let's see how our self-shearing sheep is doing, huh? Um. Okay. Wow, it's working pretty well. He has trouble getting up onto the window ledge, but that's fine. It's working pretty darn well. Hey, I'm happy with that. Are you stuck on that? Is that what the problem is? I hope not. No, I got some experience orbs, so... Alrighty, um... You know, as long as I can get some of this built, I'd be happy. Alrighty, uh, we're just going to make as many as we can because I'm tired of having to make levers every five seconds. And what we're going to do is we're going to make them as we need them. Oops. Which I can now do like this. Okay, and I need... Ugh, I'm such a dummy. Let's make... Five. There. All right. Now then, it's the valves. The restricted. Um. Those. And those. Right. Yes. Okay. Buffers. There. 
Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the buffer um, right on here. Okay. And now here's where <clears throat> being good at keeping track of stuff comes in handy. Um, we need to make sure only what we want goes um, through. So first of all, we know that Fabrico breaks down into Humanus and Instrumentum, right? So we're gonna put a filter tube here. We're gonna put a filter tube here, okay? And now I'm going to bring this tube down. I'm gonna bring this tube down uh, and get unhook those. Um, this one's gonna come over, that one's gonna come over, and then we want another, oh shoot, there and there. This is gonna, I, I, like I said, this is gonna be a mess of stuff, okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna put um, a buffer here and a buffer there, and wherever I put my wand. Okay, so we need to get some instrumentum and some hu humanus, right? Was that what it was? So this really will test your knowledge, humanus, instrumentum and humanus. Um, actually, actually, Um, I have a better idea. All right, work with me on this one. Let's come up here. Uh, hopefully I have enough of everything. Okay, I do have enough. Mm -hmm. uh, label, okay, that's Humanus. Put that file back in there. Instrumentum is upstairs from when I made my sheepy. Please be eight. Ah, uh, there's only five. That's fine. We have, uh, I don't want to use that. Don't I have like shovels or something? There we go. Nope, not pick. I need shovels. Okay, five and three will make eight. That's all I need. It's eight. Uh, Ignis in in I. Shovel. Oh, I had one right there. Okay, well, we'll just cook it all up at once. Why not, right? Why did I only get... Oh, be because it only had two up there. Okay, whatever. Um, I have an idea. So what we're going to do while we're waiting for him is... Um, this one's going to be Humanus, okay? Only Humanus will be able to go through on that side, down. And you're going to see why this is important right here. Um, let's get that on hook there, that on hook there. Um, this down. You shouldn't even be f hissing. Um, there we go. And then that can go and then down like that. Um, there. And actually get rid of that one and just for safety's sake, make that one a directional. Get rid of that one just for safety's sake, make that one a directional. And have it be directional. Am 
remember right, it's that's the way I want it. Right? Let's take a peek. Yeah, on the side that it goes. That way it doesn't try and um, <clears throat> go up and up and up and into that buffer. It's actually going to be coming down and out in here. Okay. Uh, we need one more label. Two more labels, really, but one more Humanus label. Maybe I should have picked something better than uh, Fabrico. Mm. It's just Fabrico is so cheap. Um, that it'd be dumb to use something else that's more expensive. That's some pretty loud lightning out there. I'm gonna have to reduce that sound effect. Okay, put that back in. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do now is... Um... That actually has to be a, a filtered, like so. That can be Humanus, all right. So you see what's happening? Um, because Fabrico centrifuges into Humanus, we're gonna have that come out and up and into this centrifuge. Um, Instrumentum also centrifuges out into Humanus. So that's going to come up into this buffer, and now both of those humanities can come into this centrifuge, okay? Um, we next need... Let's see... Uh, instrumentum also cooks down into Ordo, okay? So there's our first primal. Um, and we're going to do it like this. We're gonna have our primals go up. So we're just gonna have that go over like that, okay? Um, until we get our other item set up that we need, which is the construct. Uh, there's our label. I hope I have some more slimes so I can uh, continue labeling these. And that can go right there. Okay. Next. Okay, so now we're down to one more, which is the Humanus. Uh, we need another buffer. Right there. Um, remove that. So that will cook down into... Bestia Incognita. Um, Bestia and Emotus and Victus. We're going to have a lot of Ordo um, involved in this, so. Um, so, we're going to have um, Directional Tube here. No, not Directional. What am I thinking? Uh, We'll filter tube here and here. Yeah, we're gonna need to start making this out more this way too, I guess. Uh, and we're gonna have um, Bestia come this way. This is a so totally convoluted uh, machine apparati. Uh, you know, this is going to just be really off the wall. It works. I swear to God, it works. It does work a little slowly until you get up to speed, but it does work. Alrighty, back down here. We have Cognito here and Bestia here, because Bestia <clears throat> will cook down into... Oh yeah, we're going to need more tubes. This is definitely going to be a two-part episode. Oops. Um, tube. Pull that off. 
Um, now then, Bestia. Bestia cooks down into Motus and what again? Oops. Victus. And Victus. Thankfully, Victus will give us our other two, uh, two more primals. So we're going to have the Victus be on... Oh, and Motus will give us um, Air and Ordo. So um, let's have this one actually come this way. Uh, another Centrifuge. Another Buffer. And pull that off. Alrighty. Um, I could have had that coming out of the top. Save myself some space. Ah, uh, but it means I have to get rid of that label and then I have to go really... Uh, uh, why don't we do it this way? Okay, um... So Bestia cooks down into Motus Invictus. Okay. Uh, we'll have Victus come out this way and Motus come out this way, because then when we put the Motus down, we can hook it right into the same Ordo tube, right? Uh, that come down, that come down. And then that down, Victus. Uh, we'll centrifuge down into Terra and Aqua. Okay. And then this one I'll have come out, not directional, uh, to there. I had this way more compact the last time I made this. I don't, I'm not sure what I used. Maybe it was, I don't remember. Okay, so um, <clears throat> following the road, I need Modus Invictus, okay? Uh, okay, good, I have just enough Modus. I know I have plenty of Victus around here. Oh, but I need more jar labels. Well, I know Modus, I want it to be on the far side, right? Right there, because that's going to cook down into... Why did I put that there? That was dumb of me. I need... Um... Oh, I'm out of buffers, that's why. I need more buffers. Um... Okay, uh, a couple more levers, a couple more tubes. I'm gonna need more tubes. Uh, valve, directional, vials, and tubes. Or sorry, restricted, not directional. Ran out of buffers. Okay, there we go. All right, now this one, like I said, uh, this side is going to cook down into um, Ordo and Air over here, okay? So now I need to go make more labels, which is four paper, ink, and a slime ball. Uh, one, two, three, four, five will be enough. Go get some ink out here. Love this ro uh, black rose bush thing. That was probably my 
the Umbral Rose, one of the better um, add-on discoveries. All right, that should be enough. Hopefully I have, do I have enough paper? I have 40 pieces of paper, it takes four each, so that's enough to make 10. I asked for more than this. There he goes. Uh, are you getting them one at a time? Yeah, he is. They, they do that. All right, slime, ink, paper. That'll work for right now. All right, so what did I say I needed? I needed air. Okay. And I need another Ordo. Uh, o, T, A, O. Okay. And since I'm down here, um, I might as well get my Victus. Okay. Just get out of here then. And uh, I'm running out of inventory space, so I'm just gonna drop this Victus off over here. Come down here. All right, Bestia into Motus and Victus. Motus into Ordo and Air. Um, like that. Um, no, not like that. Okay, uh, we want a directional here, and a directional here, and a regular tube here. That way, that way, that way it'll all go this way. Um, I'm gonna have to dig out more this way, I think. Well, I am getting close to the end of this episode. Uh, this is gonna be a two-parter. So, uh, <clears throat> I know not a lot of anything happened in this episode. That's a shame. Um, but we are getting there. We are working on this. And by the time I'm done this, it's gonna be pretty cool how it works. It doesn't work super fast, but it gets the job done done. Okay, so that's the air. So now we have two primals. This will make three. Um, and we're going to do it like this. So I need Aqua and Terra. So I'm down to needing Ignis and... The... The thing about this system is I can hook all six in and then I'll be able to use whatever shard I want, okay? That's why I'm doing it like this. Um, normally, ah, oh, come on. Normally you would uh, only pick five of the six primals, but this way I don't have to pick. I can just do what I want. So if I throw in earth shards, it'll make balanced shards. If I throw in uh, water shards, it'll make balanced shards. I don't have to uh, move stuff all over the place to do this. All right, it doesn't really matter where I put this. Um, Okay, so at this point we have one, two, three, four of the six primals. Cognito 
will cook down into at Ignis, giving us our next one, and Spiritus. And Spiritus cooks down into Victus and Mortis, so we can wrap the Victus right back around to here, into this centrifuge, right? And Mortis, oops, would help if I went to the right aspect page. Mortis, um, also cooks down into Victus and Perditio, okay? So there's your sixth one. And we're gonna continue that next episode. And uh, I'm going to cut out this wall a little bit more so we have more space to work with. And uh, so we will see you on the next episode. I'm not gonna do my normal sign off because there's really nothing to enjoy about this episode. You can leave a like if you want. I'm not gonna tell you not to, but um, you know, this, this one was kind of a boring getting ready to do this episode. Uh, but if you do want to, uh, you can subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft and Dwarf Fortress videos. We're working on them. Alrighty guys, uh, we're going to clean this up and we will check you later.